Hello everyone. Let's understand this question. We wish to obtain an erect image of an object using a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm. What should be the range of distance of the object from the mirror? What is the nature of the image? Is the image larger or smaller than the object? Draw a ray diagram to show the image formation in this case. So, let's write the given terms. Here, concave mirror is given. Erect image is given. And a focal length of 15 centimeter is given. So, first of all, let's draw a ray diagram. Suppose this is a concave mirror. The straight line shows the principal axis. This point is the pole of the mirror. F is the focus and C is the center of curvature. From the focus to the pole, the distance is focal length. And the focal length is given 15 centimeter. So, for a concave mirror, erect image formed for only one case. What is the case? When an object is placed between focus and pole. So, let's put an object somewhere between F and P. This is an object. If a ray is passes through the center of curvature, then the ref it reflected back along the same path. Like the second ray, it's toward the pole. The angle of incident must be equal to the angle of reflection. Now, join these two rays. Here, the intersection point. From this point, image is formed. Now, this is the ray diagram for concave mirror to get an erect image. This image is erect. Erect means the image is formed straight. Now, look at the question. For the question is, what should be the range of distance? So, range of distance will be from pole to focus. From pole to principal focus. Or we can say that range is from 0 cm to 15 cm because the focal length is given 15 cm. Now, move to the next question. What is the nature of the image? So, nature of the image in the ray diagram, we can see image is erect. Also, image is formed behind the mirror. So, image is also a virtual. Virtual means we assume that somewhere behind the mirror, image is formed. And also, in the ray diagram, we see image is much larger than the object. So, image is enlarged. Now, the next question is, is the image large, larger or smaller than the object? We simply see in the ray diagram, image is larger than the size of object. Now, the last is, draw a ray diagram to show the image formation. Here, we already drawn the ray diagram.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर अपकमिंग वीडियोज